Hi, I'm Brian Irwin, Executive Director for Taking Action for Suffolk County. A few weeks ago, we met in Jamesport with the Riverhead Indivisible Group, and I conducted a training on voter outreach and voter engagement for low information and non-habitual voters. It's a basic training, a very low impact, easy training, I think, to allow you to go out and be an entrepreneur for voters who share our collective progressive values. In the room were a lot of great activists, people who are upset at what's going on, want to fight back however they can. What we're going to talk about today is to give you the tools, which you already have, for each of us to try to find 10 voters. It's pretty basic, it's pretty straightforward because we're starting so early. Let's Visit Lee Zeldin alone has 2,700 followers on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If each of you in Let's Visit Lee Zeldin finds 10 voters mm -hmm. who didn't vote last time, whether they weren't registered or they are registered and just didn't show up at the polls, or they showed up at the polls, pulled the lever for Hillary and walked out, didn't vote down ballot, which happens as well, that's 27,000 votes you just cut alone. Let's Visit Lee Zeldin just cut uh, Lee Zeldin's vote total, his vote margin in half. Just you all. Now imagine if we were able to stitch together the other groups. Now we're really cooking with gas, right? My job is to provide that infrastructure, and we'll go over exactly what that is, by which you're able to reach those 10 people, by which you're able to engage those 10 people and listen to whatever the issues that they care about. And then what we're going to have is we're going to have a lasting, progressive, political infrastructure a political machine that we can tap into every election because it's not going to stop in 18 or 19 or Donald Trump resigns in three months if we're that lucky. doesn't matter, right? That's fundamentally what taking action for Suffolk County is about. And we're going to make sure we're reaching every voter we can to build this lasting political infrastructure.